Dogs was started in order to bring out favorable characteristics and to breed out undesirable ones. The problem with this is that the humans who started this did not have any regard for how the changes to these animals would affect their long and short term health as an individual animal and as a breed as a whole. Today more and more emphasis is being put on non-selective breeding and not promoting the breeding of pure breeds. The photos that follow show how dogs have changed and the effect that selective breeding can have on animals in just 100 years. Pugs One of the most desirable traits about a modern pug is its double curled tail. This is actually a genetic defect and if severe enough it can actually lead to paralysis. Pugs did not originally have the double curved tail. They also have a host of breathing and respiratory problems. Basset Hounds the Basset Hound was selectively bred so much that it caused a shortening of the hind legs. The longer droopy ears and droopy eyes that are prone to certain eye conditions in dogs such as entropian and ectropian. The Basset Hound also now has an excessive amount of skin for its body. German Shepherds German Shepherds were originally medium sized dogs with no slope to their back. Now they have shorter hind legs and are about 30 pounds heavier than what they used to be. There used to be a time when a German Shepherd could jump over an eight and a half foot wall. English Bulldogs If any breed has come to signify what can go wrong with selective breeding, it's the English Bulldog. Pretty much every health problem you can think of in a dog, they're plagued by. The median age for an English Bulldog is 6.25 years according to a 2004 study by the Kennel Club. Their sheer mass alone makes mating and birthing almost impossible without medical intervention. Dachshunds. Dachshunds body have been elongated which gives them the highest odds of any dog to develop intervertebral disc disease. Their legs have been shortened so much that there's barely any clearance between them and the ground anymore. Bull Terriers. Bull Terriers have changed dramatically in 100 years. Selective breeding has caused them to have teeth problems, skin allergies, as well as compulsive tail chasing, not to mention the deformed skull. Doberman Pinscher Dobermans are very prone to something called cardiomyopathy, which is an enlarged heart. Another condition that's the result of selective breeding is cervical vertebral instability. This is caused by a malformation of one of the vertebrae in the neck, which can lead to excessive pressure on the spinal cord. This can cause weakness in the back and lack of coordination in the hindquarters. St. Bernard Originally bred as a working dog, you won't find many of these dogs doing that anymore. Overheating is a major concern for these very large animals and their workload must be closely monitored. Their large size also makes them more prone to hip and elbow dysplasia. Cardiomyopathy is also something St. Bernard owners need to be aware of, as well as certain kinds of cancer such as osteosarcoma. Boxers The flattening of a dog's muzzle is almost never a good thing. In boxers and many other breeds, this can lead to breathing and respiratory problems. Boxers also face problems with a specific cardiomyopathy that only boxers can get that's usually fatal. Salukis Salukis are prone to eye problems such as progressive retinal atrophy, corneal dystrophy, and glaucoma. They can also be susceptible to von Willebrand's disease, which is a blood clotting disorder as well as hypothyroidism. As far as physical appearance goes, the Saluki has not changed much, however. Bearded Collies Bearded Collies many times will suffer from hip and elbow dysplasia. They can also develop eye problems with autoimmune thyroiditis. Selective breeding has made their coat absolutely huge as well. White Terriers These dogs can be prone to many health problems like atopic dermatitis, luxating palati, that's kneecaps that pop out of normal position, aggression, leg calf perthes disease, a disease involving the hip joint, dry eye, Addison's disease and a host of other ailments. Physically, you can see a change in the head and ears, although the legs are much hairier and see a little shorter. Many of these dogs were perfectly healthy breeds before humans started interfering with and manipulating their genetics all for a physical characteristic that some rich person wanted more pronounced in their dog. It can be really sickening when you think about it a little bit. 
dogs have died because people were so arrogant that we felt it was better to have a dog with a little more hair on its head and kill some to get it done than to just leave the breed alone and appreciate dogs for what they are man's best friend share these photos of how dogs have changed with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comments